we covered this pre-podcast in the pre-podcast Q and A. Um, tell a story about your niece Katie and, and and sort of the arc that that she was on and 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 what Girl Scouts has 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 meant to her. Yeah, Katie um, from Norwell was the even around family the most shy person I've ever met. Um, and when she had an opportunity, I guess one of her friends talked about Girl Scouts. So her mom called me and said, what do you think? I said, astounding. I've seen astounding things happen. Transformations happen with girls. So she joined a troop and really had fun. She made friends. She was a little bit more outgoing and then wanted to go to camp. And her mother was petrified of that. I said, Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. I work at the Waltham. She went went to the Waltham camp, Cedar Hill. I work there sometimes. What I'll do is I'll take her to camp one day. I'll take day her. One. Nice. I'll <laughs> stay in the office all day. I'll work. And if the if the flag goes up and she needs rescuing, I'll, I'll pick her up. So I was there the whole day. And I actually expected that to happen. Four right. o'clock I went out when camp was over. And I said to the camp director, um, Katie, she goes, oh, is that the one you told me was super, super shy? I said, yeah. Said, Look up on that hill right there. That we have a little... Hill, hilly area and the girls kind of hang out there until their buses come um you see the little girl that's leading everyone in song and dance and i'm like oh my god that is Kate. She goes, yeah yeah i took two minutes today for her to move into that like take charge and whatever so her mom when i told her that like nearly cried uh so needless to say she went the rest of the week on her own um n- no uh no rescue person required and unfortunately the troop that she was part of after a couple of years disbanded because they couldn't find leaders our volunteer leaders are pivotal pivotal in delivering the ghost that experience however the first i think she was 13 and and that summer her mom said oh don't be thinking you're going to sit around and do nothing what would you like i want you to think of something to do and by then she had a cell phone because i want to make like cell phone cases are so expensive so, and she was very, um, she was very creative. Just her mom, they're graphics and create, creative people, not very, not mm-hmm. my mode. So uh, they worked that summer and put together uh, cases by Kate. She went online and that is, she's 23 now. She's a graduate of the University of Maryland and she's working in that creative space uh, down outside of uh, Washington, D.C. But that business is still intact. She's sold in 80 countries and has made tens of thousands of dollars doing that. That's so cool. Both she and her mom credit her very limited. I mean, it doesn't, you don't have to have a 12 year experience in Girl Scouts to get the benefit. So she was in Girl Scouts roughly two and a half years. Um, And they both attribute her her ability. That's when the light switch went on. Uh, And they both give a high, high regard and, and attribute her success to her experience in Girl Scouts. And that story happens every day in That's every beautiful. community that we serve. And it's yeah. just so yeah. empowering. Cool. And it makes me, it well, gives me the gooseies. And it makes me feel so satisfied and happy that personally that I decided to take this ride, you know, to the fullest, fullest extent. So. Yeah, 